So, on this channel, and some of the videos I have been doing, I've been doing the This Is Why We Can't Have Nice Things, and the whole point of that is just finding crazy stories I can, you know, online, and talking about. Uh, we've talked about a guy trying to burn his girlfriend's house down, some crazy thing they did in Japan, and some other crazy stories. But sometimes, life just drops a sweet story right in your lap, and I can't help but share this one. To those of you who may not know me, I'm in real estate. I had a friend who called me up after holding an open house, after an interaction he had with a lady that caught my attention and I, I felt the need to share. He's holding an open house and a lady comes in and he begins to talk to her, begins to kind of sell her the house. She informs him that she's not interested in the house, but she is interested in getting her real estate license. She asks if, she can, if he can help and he says absolutely. And so he begins to explain the process of getting the real estate license. It's pretty simple. You know, you pass a couple tests. He explains like you go through some certificate stuff, you know, a couple classes, and then you have to pass a state test. Well, before you get to the state test, you have to fill in your, you know, fill out a bunch of paperwork and application, all that. You have to pay some money. Uh, sending your fingerprints and do a background check. Well, it's at this point where she interrupts him and she goes, well, that's actually the question I had. It was about the background check. Oh, 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 oh boy, do I love when they ask about the background check. If they're asking about the background check, it's already probably really bad. So she asks, how deep do they go? Well, the only answer here is deep enough that you should be worried, apparently. If you're asking that question, the answer's deep enough that they're gonna find whatever you're worried about them finding out. This clearly piqued his interest. He answered, well, they, they go pretty deep. They're, you know, it's a Department of Justice and FBI background check, so they go pretty deep. Why would you ask? She says, well, the thing is, I got convicted of residential burglary a couple years ago. Okay, he says, he said, well, they, they might look past that. They might look past that. He goes, well, was it a violent crime? She goes, no, no, it wasn't a violent crime. It was just residential burglary. He goes, okay, well, was it a felony? She goes, yes, it was a felony. He goes, okay, did you do any time? She goes, yeah, I did about two years. He goes, okay, when? She goes, well, I went in November 2014 and I did two years. Well, everyone, if we do the math, going in November 2014 means she got out, she did two years, means she got out in November 2016, and it's December of 2016. He goes, did you get out last month? She says, yes, I just got out of prison last month for residential burglary. And I would like to get my real estate license. Do you think that'll stop? He said, well, you're fighting an uphill battle. It might, I don't know everything that stops it, but it wasn't a violent crime, so maybe not. But wait, of course there is more. It goes deeper. He's like, well, it's not a violent crime. And she goes, oh, so it matters if it's a violent crime. Yes, of course it does. Why? She says, well, this was my second conviction for residential burglary. 10 years ago when I was 18, I was convicted the first time. He said, and that was a violent crime? She said, yes, because when, when I broke into the house caught on residential burglary, the person was home. And in the state of California, if you rob somebody and they're, if you rob a house and they're still home, it's considered a violent crime. So we are now talking about two convictions for residential burglary, one of them being a violent crime. She just got out of prison last month. He then has to explain to her, what you are asking the state of California to look past is two felony convictions of residential burglary so you can get a real estate license. Now what you're asking the state is, please give me access to every home for sale in my area even though I have double convictions for residential burglary. I am all for people getting a second chance, you know, changing their lives, doing all that stuff, but if you've been convicted twice of residential burglary, two felony convictions of residential burglary, maybe, just maybe, using some common sense, real estate might not be the option for you. Let's do something that doesn't involve houses. How about that? What you're asking the state of California to do is to look past those two convictions of felony residential burglary, one of them being a violent crime because the person was still home, to give you a license to sell real estate, to handle a transaction, to have a key that gives you access to basically any home for sale in your area. I'm sure they look past a lot of things, but I'm guessing double felony convictions in 10 years for 
residential burglary is probably not something they look past. When he was telling me this, I didn't believe it because I want to think that people can think through this stuff, but they can't. So I'd have to believe it because of course someone would do that. Alright everyone, I, this, people blow me away with what they try. Now, again, all for second, third chances and, and trying to make a better life, but in real estate's a, a good way to do that. It's a good thing. You know, it's, it's a good way to make really good money without having to have a college degree or anything. You, know, you just have to do it well and you can make good money at it. But come on, people. I mean, come on. You've got to be kidding me. It's like, really? He was bewildered. He was just baffled by this and he had to call me and tell me. Uh, so only one story this week because it's a good one. If you haven't already, please hit that big red subscribe button. Follow me on all the social medias. I'm at ToyKNYT. And I will see you next week.